Hey guys, <clears throat> uh, so I've seen everyone doing <clears throat> Valentine's looks and Valentine's Day is tomorrow. So I thought I would do Valentine's Day themed, but give it like a um, frozen heart kind of twist. So I'm going to be using blues instead of reds and warm tones. So let's just jump right in there. Um... Let's see what we're working with here. I mainly got my inspiration because I was like working on something last night. I don't know if you can see it. Oh god. And then I like put this like blue highlighter over it. And I was like, oh my god, it looks like it's like frozen in ice. So I was like, I could do that on my face. But uh, the other night I did watch the James Charles with Snatch My snatched by Jake and Raquel or something like that and they both did like beauty battles half and half and he did these inverted hearts on his like face and I thought that'd be cool to do maybe like on the eye so it was like it, maybe I do like a blue smoky eye and then I do like a concealer but like I do like a heart I don't know how it's gonna come out but we're gonna see we are gonna see so um we're going to start out, because blues are lighter, and they get all sorts of weird. I'm going to go in the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. Dude, something I didn't know is that this is actually supposed to be an eyeshadow. It is not supposed to be a primer. Isn't that crazy? I was, like, reading. I was like, what the heck? Oh. And I have to be in work soon, so we got to go fast. Because I... I am doing this before I take a shower, so I can just like wash it off, you know. I like taking it all the way to my brow, so that's what we will do. Wrap it around, give it a good swirl. Now that we got it primed, um, I am going to be going with a little shader packer brush. I'm going to go in with the, the M456 brush, and I'm going to be popping in to the James Charles palette, of course. And then I will... Be going in with. How should I even do it? I think I'm gonna, should I do like dark blue, light blue? I'm gonna go in with this like. What is it? It's like a light blue in the palette. And I'm just gonna be. Patting that into the crease. Hmm. I can't even see. And then, I don't even know what this color is, but it's the one next to the light blue. It's like, um... Hmm. It's like... It's like a blue that doesn't want to be blue. So I'm going to go on with that, just a little bit. And I'm actually going to put it... Um, I'm going to put it a little bit lower than the crease. And then just softly make it become one. Okay. 
Oh my god. Oh, you stole my eye. You got so fucking hurt. How did that even happen? I don't know. Ah. Uh, oh. Jesus Christ. I swear, I get hurt in all these tutorials. I'm just stabbing myself in the face. So we got that dark blue down too. And then I'm actually gonna be going in with mm. hmm. Well I'm gonna be diving into the white one. I think it's called Mary Flashback. No, I think it's called flashback, I'm pretty sure. And then I'm actually going to push that in my inner third of my inner corner. So like that. It's just right there. So because this brush already has a little bit of blue on it, whatever I blend into it is just going to tie it in together. Oh. I'll pack it on a little bit. Already giving it that smoky, smoky white, and then um, I think I'll go into dark blue and just put it on the base of my lid. We got the dark. Isn't it weird how it, like dark colors on top make your eyes like look saggy? Like you like hide it, but if you like look straight, it looks like this eye is a little bit lower, you know? It's kind of weird. The illusions, the sorcery. Okay, um, then I'm going to put that fake blue. I think it's called like brother or something. I'm going to put that above the dark blue that I was laying down. Put it around. I'm actually going to, I'm using this blue, this fake blue color to like, Make it go into the light blue just a little bit easier because the dark blue is way too dark. So I got that. And then I'm going to go with the lightest blue that he has in the palette. And then put that right on top. So I'm kind of just emphasizing where I put the color originally. I'm really gonna wanna blow this out. So I'm just packing it. And then because there is like such like a difference, I'm gonna try to put a little bit more of the light blue on the dark blue. And then I'm gonna try to blend it out. Blend out So right now I'm just doing tapping motions to make sure that the powder 
sticks and doesn't pull across. And then I'm going to go in with a real tiny little blender brush. Mm, I think I'm going to go in with this. This is the Morphe 506. And I will shut the paint pot before it dries out. Can you see? No. And then I'm just going to go very softly between the two colors. And then I'm going to get a little bit of the light blue and put it on the outside and then kind of like drag it in. My laptop is really trying to die on me right now. What the hell? Then I'm going to go in with the white shade and then put that from the inner corner all the way to over here. So you kind of just like pull it across. And it's okay if I have a little bit of blue. I don't know why it got so dark right here. Uh, I'm gonna be going with a little bit of the white to put it in there. So it kinda brightens the area instead of darkening it. Cool. And then a little bit of that light blue again. And packing it right in there. Oh yeah, that's way more vibrant. And just dust it around. Going with that white again. Now what I think I'm going to do is, no, I feel like I want to do more blue, you know? I just keep going crazy with the blue. So I'm going to keep going with that light blue, and then just going to keep going. Just blend it forever, forever up. I, th I think I need a better brush. I'm going to go in with the blah, 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 blah. Probably this. This is the... White and Wild brush does have a number. This is one you, I found at the dollar store. So I'm gonna go in with the light blue. And it's gonna swell out everywhere. This brush is very flimsy, so it's very good for like blending out your shadows, but like not too crazy. A little bit of blue. And then sweep it like that. I 
and I'm gonna combine it kind of like with a nose contour. So with whatever shade you use here, you can like bring it down like that. And it kind of creates whatever shade you have like close to here, bring it down and it's gonna like tie it together so it doesn't look like a straight line, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with a little bit of white right on the lid and then right under. Now that I look frozen to death, I will What should I do next? I feel like now I should do the heart. Oh god, I'm so tired. Oh god. Um, so I am going to be going in with... I think I'm going to go with this one. This is the M12 brush. I feel like it'd be good with going in with concealer with it. Um, I'm actually going to be going in with... The ColourPop concealer in shade Fair Zero Zero. It's the super bright white one. I kind of like companies that are doing like this, like white concealer now. Makes it a little bit more interesting when you're playing with these kind of shades. Besides the wop, the wop, the white really makes the the shades pop more. So I think it's a little bit more useful when you're trying to create like colorful looks. I'm just going to go on the back of my hand. Oh, oh sh sh Nice. Okay. Um, what's on this brush? It's like shimmer on it. Um, where is my bun? Um... Yeah, this, this brush is in flimsy, so I won't, like, go weird on you when you're trying to, like, put it on. Okay. And then... Oh, God, let's see how this goes. Nah, fam, I need more. Ugh. Oh my god, my laptop is at 2%. Hold on, let me get my charger. Hold your horse. It's not gonna fit. Oh, got it. Okay. Why is my eyebrow itchy? Oh, it's so itchy. Probably allergic or something. Uh, okay, so going in there. Oh my god, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go like the thing is, though, is that if I blink, it could mess this whole thing up. So I need to, like, powder it as soon as I put it down. So I'm going to go, like, that. And then, like, that. And then going back in with more. And then.
my god, this is the scariest thing I've ever done. Oh, fucking shit. Oh my god, did I mess it up? I'm just gonna make the heart even bigger. This side is so good, and this side is all fucked up. Oh, motherfucking shit. Okay, this is the best we're going to get on this side, so I am just going to set it. Um, I think I'm going to go in with a baby pink Um, on this. I'm going to go on this wet and wild again. I'm going to go in with the... the what even is this? This is like that. Oh, pinkity drinkity. Okay. Let's set it. So I got that, that part, now to do the bottom part. So like it's gonna have to, if I close my eye, it's like there, so.
Okay, now you can set that part too. But I'm going in with um, the Morphe 431 brush. I'm going to go in with that pinkity drinkity shave and pack it on. This brush hurts so much. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but oh God, it hurts. It's like all the bristles are like sharp as hell. like I should do <laughs> should I do a blue heart no oh Maybe I should go on with this blue. I think I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go on with this brush, the, the same one I was using. I'm gonna go straight in. I dropped my mirror. Um. This look is disgusting and it's not what I envisioned at all. So I'm just gonna change it to shattered ice. I'm gonna go with the color pop again on the back of my hand. And then where is this? Oh my I think I've been going with this. No, it's not gonna work. Um, I need that like. Where did it go? Oh, here you go. Damn, I just lost it. This is the Amorphe 250-1. And I'm just going to create graphics. Ugh, I quit on this look. Yeah, I have to go take a shower. It's looking out like trash. I will talk to you guys later.